Hello friends. So welcome to Gigi Rabbit. So as a QA tester, or if you're planning to pursue a career in software testing, you'll come across some terms like uh, you'll often hear these terms like error, fault, defect, bug, or failures. So we are today going to see what this term means and what is the difference between them. So let's start for this one. So today's uh, session would be regarding the difference between error, fault, defect, bug and failure. So in this uh, we will try to understand the different terminologies uh, like the error, bug, defect and failure and also we will try to relate them with the help of a uh, simple example. So if someone makes an error or mistake in using a software this may lead to directly to a problem. So maybe because the software is used incorrectly and so does not behave as we expected. So sometimes what happens is uh, whenever the software is developed, so it is not intended to do, it is not doing the thing which it is intended to do. So people also design and build the software and there are chances that they can commit uh, mistakes during the design or build phase. So these mistakes are these uh, flaws in the software itself. So we as a QA part from standpoint of view, call it as defects or sometimes bugs or faults. Uh, when the software code is being built, it is uh, executed after that and then any defect which cause the system to fail. So if there are defects in the system, uh, maybe your system as a whole would fail and it will not do what it is intended to do. Otherwise it can do something which it is not intending to do. Not all the defects uh, result into the failures. Uh, some may stay dormant in the core and we may never notice them. So it is possible that there would be defect but if it is not causing any uh, harm to the system, it can remain uh, in the system but it does not affect the system. So it can be left unattended. So let us see one by one this terminology into detail and let's try to understand them. So what is an error or mistake? So. Error, uh, it can be called as a human action that produces an incorrect result. So the, uh, obviously it is a deviation from the, uh, in between the actual and expected value. So the mistake can be made by the programmer and it may be termed as error. So it may be a programming error or something. Uh, it may happen due to a number of reasons and some of them I have listed. So first one is the confusing in understanding the requirement. So it's possible that the developer have not completely understand the requirement and he has coded something differently. So this may be one of the reason or maybe he had miscalculated the values or any misinterpretation of the new kind of values which is required uh, in the coding. So error basically uh, represent the mistakes made by the people and it is a mistake in the program which leads to the uh, faults. So let's proceed and see. Uh, so what is a bug? A bug is the result of a coding error or a fault in the program. So if possible, the dev has some left some coding error in the code part. So it may result into a bug. So it arises from mistakes and which are again made by the people. So a uh, bug is uh, it is an error which is found before the application goes into the production when uh, the application which we are using it is not being used by any other person so it's called production so once it is live before that whatever uh, mistakes we found out that is all bugs or defects it may be a result of the coding error or a fault in the program which causes the program to behave in an unintended or unanticipated manner it is an evidence of fault in the program. So now let's see what is a defect or a fault. A defect is a deviation from the requirement as mentioned and uh, defect can be of various types like hardware defects, software defects, network performance or UI functionality defects. So if you can see in the diagram, so normally everybody has seen a cycle and normally you can see that the front tire which of the cycle is of uh, square shape. So it is a defect in the cycle because normally it will not move 
due to some functionality issues because it should be round in circular and it should spin so lastly uh, we'll be seeing what is a failure a uh, failure uh, comes to in picture when we are seeing at a particular system as a whole so failure is said to occur when the system does not do what is intended to do or it totally fails due to any kind of defect or any kind of uh, error so uh, basically an error would be transformed into a defect or fault and then it would be it will uh, make the system fail it is said to occur when the system behavior does not come from to the prescribed system specification so the prescribed system specification we get usually in the srs and uh, if it is if the system is not behaving according to it then we may call the system as failed failure occurs when we have executing the faults in a particular system so whatever faults we have found out they need to be fixed before to avoid the failures so as you see the cycle can be seen as the error or mistake is a human action that produces an incorrect result so it may result to a defect bug or a fault which are the different terms which we have introduced as a keyword so different people use the different terms uh, so defect is a flaw in the component or system that can cause the component or system to fail to perform its required function and lastly the failures which is a result of the defect so if the defect is being executed along with the code it may sometimes result into the failure so deviation of the component again or system from its expected delivery it is a failure so now let us try to see it with an example so as mentioned here you can see a program it is a simple c language program so this program is required to add two numbers so it is taking two numbers as string and then it is printing the result as shown in the left hand side the addition of two numbers so when you compile and run this program we will be seeing the result as the addition of 5 plus 3 is equal to 2 but wait uh, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and it is printing 2 so why it is it doing that so maybe there is some error into the system uh, into the means we can we may call this as a system or uh, a program and it is not doing what we are supposed to do so there could be various reasons as to why the program is displaying the answer to instead of the eight. so for now we have detected a failure and uh, the failure has been detected but if it can be raised against it so now let's go back to the program and analyze what was the fault in the program so if you see the program we notice at the line number 10 there is a minus sign so it is present instead of a plus sign so the fault in the program is the minus sign so it will not add the number but it will be subtracting the number and it will be giving us the incorrect result so we can raise a bug against this type of errors so each and every time uh, the tester does not have necessarily have access to the codes and we will be just testing the functionality of the program so in this case the tester will realize the output is faulty and will raise a defect against it due to the observed wrong reason it is known of the fact that the program has an error which is resulting into a fault and we may uh, report it to the test so each and every time the tester may not know exactly what is causing the error but he will be reporting just the defect and the dev team will be looking into it and then they will be providing the fix so i hope we are clear with what is a defect what is a bug what is a fault and a failure and uh, please let us know if uh, anything regarding this you want to know or just comment it out in the below section so again i am having a site like let's learn and uh, i am on the youtube uh, in the channel named geeky rabbit so this is my channel in which i am posting technical stuffs so i'm coming with a series of video tutorial for software development and testing and yes good luck and thank you